All right, today we've got a Gliderol GTS Plus sectional garage door motor that's not closing all the way. We'll just use the onboard buttons to close the door, which is the forward arrow. And that's where it wants to stay shut right there. So we've got quite a bit of a gap down there. So today we're going to show you how to reset the limits. Let's get into a better position. I might open this door up by using the back arrow. Get a bit of light in here so we can see the controls. All right, so these are the controls. We've got learn, limit, force, auto, and key. We might go through those in another video. So the setting we want is limits to do our limits. The door is currently up at the moment. So to set the limits, we need to activate the limit mode. So hold this center button right here. And then you have the first red light show up on key. Now use the arrows to get the limit light to show up. Now, as you can see, you've only got a very short period of time to do this. They don't give you much time at all. So hold the middle button. Within a few seconds, scroll up to the limit button. Press the center button. Now we're in limit learning mode. You've got the center orange light lit up and all the red LEDs lit up. So the first thing you wanna do is set your open limit. So press the open button and keep your finger on that. You have the green LED bank show up. Now this door has a screw in the track as a stopper, so we're just going to butt the door against that. Now if you go too far, you can use the down and up buttons to fine tune that height. So about there looks good. When you've got the correct height of your garage door, press the center button. That will beep, and now we can go down and set the bottom limits by pressing the down arrow. Press the down arrow until you get the door to close all the way to the floor. And just release it before you get to the weather seal. You just want to squash the door on the weather seal. If you over close the door, you can use the up arrow to go up a bit and try again. So there is a small gap down there. We'll go one more press. That's good. And if you do go too far, you can simply open the door with the up arrow and try again. So you can see just a slight gap of light down there on that side. And that looks pretty good. So once you've got the closed position set, you can come along and press the center button. And now the door will light up the green bank of LEDs and start to open all by itself. So it's going to do an open and close calibration cycle, which sets the force on the automatic reverse system. Now the door will go down by itself. The red bank of LEDs will light up. Now once the door closes all the way down, it should close that gap. And there we go, that's exactly where we have set the door to close. Now this is the second time I've been back here. I've got a feeling this machine may have a fault and it's not remembering the limits. So we've just reset that once more. What we'll do, we'll give it one more test run, just to make sure it's holding the limits. And then we're done. So here it comes. That stopped perfectly there. We'll close it down and just check the bottom limits. we've got a nice seal so it looks like our limits have been reset successfully on this glider roll gts plus garage door opener i'm that roller door bloke thanks for watching